Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind playthrough. I'm your host Valenfor and in today's episode we are going to head back down the little hole down here like that. Didn't take any damage so that was lucky. And we're heading on into the Corpusarium um, in the hopes of uh, trying to find uh, some bits and bobs. I've just got to find my way down there. I think it's down this way. Down here. I've got to hope that we can also find a cure for Corpus. What have we got here? Ornate Dwemer chest, 100 level lock. No key to speak of. Let's head on. Ah! It's not that door. It must be this door. Here we go. Corpusarium. It's quite dark down here. So let's have a look. Where's uh, Night Eye at? There we go. Oh, I have no mana as well. That's, uh, that's not wise, is it? Let's uh, try and drink some mana potions here. I think a couple should do us nicely, like that. There we go. Got the Amulet of Shadows ready. Let's head on inside. Now, we're not allowed to this kill anybody down here. So let's hope that we don't end up bumping into any of these things. They can start attacking us, but we are not allowed to kill anything. Um, I do have a key as well. A key, let's check it. It was... No, it wasn't that one, it wasn't that one. That weighs so much. I need to see if I can get rid of that at some stage. Um, da, 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 637. And that will open. There we go used to open this lock and we got inside an ornate dwemer goblet which I'm really not bothered about and 678 678th key Let's see if we can find where that is past that it's another horrible corpus disease monster and it's not that one okay so we need to Avoid that one now. Let's go see if I can heal. Okay. Let's see if it's this way. Corpusarium bowels. We basically need to find these chests, and I think at the end of it you may get something very nice, but I can't quite recall if you do or not. And on our way, we will see if we can find. Uh, the chap that we need to speak to down here as well. I need levitate later, so I don't want to use it now to cross this bit. Did I pick up levitate as a... I did pick up levitate as a spell. But for some reason the chance is zero. Why is that now? Why is that now? Let's have a look and see. Is it because I don't have quite enough mana, perhaps? <laughs> Oh, okay, it was. Uh, but it's a very piddly chance. Okay, never mind. Let's continue this way. We've got a dead body here. Nice. We'll pick up four gold there. And what else? Steel claymore. And what about this chest here? There we go. It's not this one. Take another quick potion here. Seem to be going through these potions fairly quickly. Uh, okay, so we're on the other side now. I can pop back down. Interestingly, this uh, monster here didn't actually want anything to do with us, so I can ignore him. Right, okay, well this is the guy that we need to speak to. Let's, uh, this is quite interesting because it tells off the artifacts in game. So we've got the Lord's Mail, Ebony Mail, uh, Spellbreaker, I know that's a shield, Chrysomere, Staff of 
Magnus Warlock's Ring, I think we've got that already. Ring of Fanasta, Ring of the Khajiit, Mace of Molag Baal, Mask of Cladicus Vile, Mayrun's Razor, Curus of the Saviour's Hide, Spear of Bitter Mercy, Daedric's Scourge, Bow of Shadows, I think we've picked up Bow of Shadows. Fists of Randagulf, which I think we've ha we we actually have, uh, and that mentions Skyrim there. Ice Blade of the Monarch, Rings of Surroundings, Boots of the Apostle, Mentor's Ring, Ring of the Wind, Ventric Ring. There are tons of these things that keep going. Um, this isn't the chest either. This is the guy we need to speak to, though. You're here for the Dwerma Boots. Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwerma mage crafter could have done so much, but only idiots could have crafted these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunders. Lord Fire obtained these enchanted Dwerma boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came to a bad end. But I can do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. If such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in these benighted latter days. But I've done my best. Take them to Lord Fire with my sincere apologies. Fine, okay. Uh, and we know that he is a dwarf. As he mentions here. Bleak existence, disappearance of the dwarfs, last living dwarfs theories. It goes into quite a bit. If you want to read up about this, you can. I'm not going to go through it though. There's a little bit too much to read there. Let's see if I can't find uh, this chest before we head back. Would be a shame to have at least found one of the chests. One thing I will not miss is the spell casting in this game when we eventually move on to. No, I won't go this way. Uh, when we eventually move on to Oblivion. Because as long as you've got the mana to cast the blooming thing, you can cast it, right? Okay, well. Then, in which case. Wait! Don't even try. Is it this way, I wonder? I did at least want to try and get some form of loot, but... Ugh, really? I just want you to get out of the way, mate, please. Thank you. Is it this one? Nope. Oh, really? But I got blocked there. Right, let's take another potion here. There's a drum here, which you can actually give to um, the guard that was next to the dwarf. And uh, she'll play it, and it actually soothes or calms the other inmates. I'm thinking the chest that we haven't found in here somewhere. Or not. Okay. Fair enough. It looks like somehow I've got a missed... Missed a chest somewhere. Unless, of course, it's down here. No, it doesn't look that way. Okay. Well, in any case, we might not have uh, managed to get any more treasure, but what we do have is someone who's after us. Let's try and cast and go. I'm not having you attack me. We have at least got what we actually came for, which was the booties. Ah! What's this one? Oh, look at that. Dwemer coins and another key. Yeah, do you know what? We'll leave it. I'll come back to it another time. I think you get maybe a set 
Dwemer armor, perhaps. Uh, dwarven armor. The other thing I won't miss, of course, when we get to Oblivion is the fact that mana actually regents. At least I think it does. It's a lot easier to get your mana back. Anyway. Let's now head back up. There's nothing in there. So, it's not there. Let's see, is it up this one? Yeah, here we go. Wall of fire, there we go. And where's our levitate potion? Here it is. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Right, here are your booties. May you find Go quick save. Uh, well, did you get my boots? No boots, no potion. The boots first, please. And now I'll give you the potion on the following condition. You must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? Yeah, give me the potion. Good. Open your mouth, close your eyes. That sounds a bit dodge. Now swallow. Goodness, goodness grief. Look, look, it's working. Oh, well, thank God. Remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it's worked. No sign of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease, just like I planned, but all your symptoms are gone. Marvellous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates, but I'll answer your questions before you go. Okay, so... See, no more symptoms, amazing. A bit surprised myself. Okay, so... I don't really think there's much to speak about, really. Um, and he's healed us, I believe. We need to um, regain our speed and personality, because obviously we're... That's lacking. But if you look here, we now have a couple of other abilities, right? We've still got resist fire, fortify attributes through our items that we're wearing, and levitate, obviously, we've taken a potion. But we now have common disease immunity, 100%, blight disease immunity, 100%, and corpus immunity, 100%. So that's awesome. So let's us head back down this way. And we will go back down to the docks and take a boat back over to see our good friend Caius and tell him the good news that we are no longer blighted by disease. It's not that boat there. Where is the dock? There is it. Is that it? Yes, okay, I can see it. As you can see, it's night time out here. Apparently it's illegal to wait just out here. I'm not sure why. I'm not inside a town. So, okay, never mind. And I guess we need to go back to Sadrith Mora, if we can. I can also get training from her for some reason. Uh, okay, travel. Sadrith Mora. Six gold. That's not overly expensive, so that's good. pitch black though. You can hardly see anything here. And we need to head back into Wolverine Hall. It's on the far right. I'm trying to think of whereabouts we can go to get our attributes back. I suppose I can go and make um, a couple of new spells, restore speed and restore personality. I don't know how low they've gone though. Do I have a potion that actually restores those particular things? Let's check. Restore fatigue, that doesn't help me. Restore luck, restore magicka. Yeah. That would be a no then, okay. 
What say? And I know it was on the upper uh, area because we actually jumped down because I <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to find the staircase. Here we go. This is the Imperial Shrine. Oh, they might actually be able to cure me, I wonder. Let's have a look. Spells. Resist. No. Um, uh, how Can about I help you? you out? Do you need something? Or are you the cleaner? He does have a broom. Uh, possibly was the cleaner. Spells. Absorb. Divine Intervention. Ooh, Divine Intervention as a spell. I'm going to pick that up. That's really helpful. Spell making. I suppose we could do restore attributes and speed on self. Ten. Ten and ten for a duration of one. And can I do restore personality at the same time? We. I can. 10 and... Well, hey, not too much. 10 and 10. And we'll call it Restore. Restore, as I've created. There we go. Alright, let's see if that actually works. It should do. Can't see why it wouldn't. There we go. Now we are fully restored. I'll just go quick save there. And uh, what's this book here? The old ways. No, not interested. Okay. So, this is the Imperial Shrine. Let's go into Wolverine Hall itself. Up the stairs. And I think the Mage's Guild is at the top. There we go. Hoof it back over to Balmora. What can I do for you, friend? There we are. How may I help you, Dunmer? And we can head on inside Caius's house and speak to him and just let him know that our mission has been a grand success. And um, obviously those of you who are watching at home may now realise that we now fulfil yet another of the prophecy with regards ahead, to the Merovarine. I can't remember which of the trials it was, but one of them said that, oh, the Enwar must die. Yeah, uh, that must be me. But Attack me if you dare, the guards will take you down. Yeah, I think the, the trial stated something along the lines of age nor something harms the Nerevarine. Please, go ahead. Um, I'm all in. It's a pretty bad example, actually. <laughs> but um, you know what I mean. Uh, basically, we're fulfilling more and more of this prophecy. We are turning into the Nerevarine Reborn. Right, let's speak to him. Thank you for your report. I'm very happy you were cured. Unfortunately, I've had some bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You'll be promoted to operative. Nice. And we'll head the blades here in Vardenfell until I return. I've only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. So, promoted to operative. That makes you the ranking blades agent here in Vardenfair District. As far as I know, there may be other blade agents here I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. I may be gone a while and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold and you can use the house until I return. I won't be needing these blacks or the ring while I'm in Cyrodiil. Maybe they'll come in handy, take good care of them. So he's given us 750 gold. He's given us his pants and shirt and ring. Uh, lovely, okay. Uh, Head of the Blades, there's nothing to it. Each agent has his own assignment and reports directly to Cyrodiil. You're promoted to operative mostly to preserve your independence. You're no fool. The days of the Empire are almost over. When the Emperor dies, nine hells are going to break loose. Forget about the Imperial City, think locally. Worry about the Sixth House and Dagothur. Squabbles between the Great Houses and the Colonists. The rest of the political nonsense doesn't amount to a plate of scuttle. Fair enough. What are our orders then? Continue pursuing the Neverine prophecies as the Emperor commands. First go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice and get Mayor Milo to help you find the lost prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters and she'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya. Then take the lost prophecies the prophecy, sorry, to Nibana Mesa 
from that point you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies good luck okay Mayor Mayo says the distant priests do have records of Ashland and Erevarine prophecies and she has an idea how we might get a look at them okay so basically we have to head back to Vivek by the sounds of things in order to um, try and find Mayor Milo and uh, get these um, lost prophecies I'm just gonna rest here just for a second so we get our stats back here and um, looks like we've got another dream Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Way! I was attacked by an ash zombie. Lovely. Let's try and uh, actually rest up properly now. Thanks, Mr. Ash Zombie. Um, <laughs> that's one of uh, Dagoth Ur's minions come to try and kill me in my sleep. But uh, thanks for the... Um, assist there Chaos, very nice of you but anyway guys this is where we're going to end for today, I really hope you've enjoyed this one, if you have please do all those lovely social media things, please like comment, share and subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you next time for more of our Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3 playthrough but until then, take care